guys, Tony Hunter Jakar here with a uh, quick little update on a hurricane. As you can see here, Hurricane Sally has made landfall along the Gulf Coast states. As you see, we have a landfall here in Pensacola, up to Pensacola. It's impacting parts of Mobile. In parts of Panama City, we already have this is made landfall as a category two as the hurricane. It's still expected to weaken. Like, um, if I put this in infrared, here's where the eye is of Hurricane Sally. It's currently a Category 2 hurricane. Just And the current wind speeds in this hurricane, the current wind speeds of Sally are 105 miles per hour as it continues to move its way up. As is right now, says it's impacting, like I said, Panama City, Pensacola, Foley, Mobile, Crestview. And there are indeed tornado. There is, there are some watches and warnings down here. We have a tornado, as I'm going to say, we have a tornado watch that is in, a, that is in effect for the warned area. And this, uh, we had a tornado warning earlier for Panama City. And this tornado warning is in effect because of the potential for tornadoes as this hurricane moves further inland. By 8 a.m. Eastern Time, the wind should increase to 110. So almost a Category 3. Not quite, but it's, it could touch there, but you never know. You know, last year we had, you know, me... I mean, earlier we had earlier this area was impacted by uh oh that's right. earlier another hurricane uh, Hurricane Laura came up the same way but it hit over here so here is the uh, radar imagery of the uh, hurricane as you can see the uh, here are the outer bands approaching. Pensacola. I mean, I'm not Pensacola. Panama City. You got the these portions of you got heavy rain in the Pensacola. There is a there is already a chance for flooding. It's already been announced. It's like it shows. Go back to the weather service site here. It's expected to make a landfall at as a Category One, but. This actually kind of already looks like a landfall has already been made. As the hurricane continues to move. If I put this into motion. You can see this is 2.30. This was an hour ago. An hour, 12 minutes ago. If I put this into motion. You can see as it's... The, and these are the outer bands here that can produce tornadoes inside of a hurricane. So that's why there is that chance for tornadoes. That's why the National Water Service has put up a tornado watch. And one of the main threats from this is the storm surge from Sally. Like I said, and this is still something you not want to take lightly. I have not heard anything about damage related yet. I should get something as the hurricane passes, hopefully. But when I do, I will be sure to share it with you guys. Right now, I'm showing it what I have right now as of the uh, imagery. As the eye wall is approaching now. The eye wall is where the most damage happens. Yep. The eye wall is one of the most dangerous places to be in a hurricane. So yeah, you don't want to be in the eye wall, one of the most dangerous places in a hurricane. For a reason. You can see the eye of the hurricane here. Because even when you're in the eye of the hurricane, the tr the back side of it is, is going to be stronger. So, I know there are some people who have evacuated or some that are uh, staying put at home. If you are staying put at home, please make sure you have, you still take the necessary precautions. 
as this is still a dangerous situation. Like I said, this is a Category 2 hurricane. I'm gonna let me get the uh, 12 hour loop. Let's go 12 hours. So this was 12 hours ago as it's approaching this way. If we switch to infrared, here it is on the uh, infrared satellite. That was the infrared plus. You can see the swirling motion. You can see the eye right there as it forms. So, very intense storm here, folks. This is nothing to mess around with. Even though it's not a major hurricane, I still want to take this hurricane lightly. So, yeah. Landfall is expected. It should is expected to do a landfall to category two apparently. Well apparently it has made landfall. Current time is three forty five AM. I just hope it doesn't get any stronger. Cause what really took us by surprise when I when I was tracking lore, what took me by surprise is it straight it was expected to only be a category three, but it's straight into a category four. And I had a friend in the path of that storm. This is basically the herc. So this is basically what we're seeing here. This is twelve hour a twelve hour loop. Let me go back to the uh, two hour loop. Look at that. And if I put the radar on, here it is on the radar. It just updated. You can see the outer band still moving in. The eye is over here. But yeah, this is these are the, the what I'm currently seeing. But the storm dirt, so it's still that we have that potential for storm surge, the flooding. Flying debris, tornadoes, pretty much everything that comes with a hurricane. So, everyone that's in being impacted by the storm right now, I hope you are be, you stay safe. We are praying for you that you may get out of this alive, and I pray that there are no fatalities from this storm. So, with that being said, this is all I have for right now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little uh, update of the this little my little forecast of this hurricane here. Leave a like. On this video, comment. I mean, subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts of this. Because as you can see, it is currently making landfall. The hurricane has made landfall. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. With hopefully another update on the storm.